I'm Ozzy Griffin, and this is a quick post for Sexual Futurist, and also a reply to the Bad Cop 69. He did a video about uh, some family group, and we all know what family is a synonym for in the modern parlance when it used in the name of a political action group. No, some family group uh, in America has kicked up a massive fuss on its little uh, radio station or radio broadcast or whatever it's doing and a few other things and started claiming that the new Star Wars multiplayer online role-playing game that's massively multiplayer uh, is promoting the gay agenda yes those are the same fingers I use when I talk about a family group you know in the Australian parlance we don't even use the term family values that's an American thing because if you talk about family values here in Australia, we'll ask, well, whose family are you talking about? Because every family, believe it or not, is responsible for its own values. Imagine that. Anyway. Basically, this group kicked up a fuss because there are going to be options. Options, not mandatory. Options in the Star Wars universe for same-sex relationships or making your character open to them or even being transgender, and I might add, with the number of species that you run into in the Star Wars universe, that might be a normal state of affairs for some of them. We don't know. It's science fiction. Anyway. Basically, I've already seen this in a game released much earlier, and guess what? It didn't have anyone near the uh, popular appeal of the fanfare, however, it was just as good if you ask me. It was called Arcanum of Steamworks and Magica Obscura. It was basically uh, Tolkien-esque fantasy uh, with a in massive injection of steampunk. Basically technology competing with magic. It was awesome. However, your character at certain points throughout the game could try and engage in... Uh, sexual relations of one form or another. And yes, some of them could be with uh, members of the same sex. So, as memory serves, I've only ever seen female-on-female -female offerings. However, here's an interesting thing from the game design perspective that this family group may have neglected. The non-playable characters, NPCs for short, the NPCs could turn you down! They can say, nah, that's not my thing. You could also turn down NPCs that propositioned you, usually in a heterosexual or heteronormative uh, setting. However, that's not the point. The point is options, not being forced to. Anyway, just some food for thought. Thought this would get everybody considering that, hey, what if you could also teach kids that not everyone's into that? I think it's an equally valid lesson, and I'm not doing it from some bigoted standpoint that says, I'm only saying that because I'm afraid of everything else. I could care less what other people do. When it comes to people propositioning me or telling me what my sexuality or gender is, I'm sorry, I am the last word on that. I am the supreme authority. I know myself, and if I find out something that I didn't know about myself, I'm the only one who can find that out. Anyway, I'm Ozzy Griffin, this has been going out to Sexual Futurist and the Bad Cop 69, hope you're feeling better soon mate, have a good one.